It is election day tomorrow, and in Virginia, there's some high-stake races, and those results could be an early indication of how the rest of the country will vote in 2024. Fox 5 Sierra Fox, alive tonight from Leesburg after a Governor Glenn Youngkin was at a vote get out the vote rally. Hi, Sierra. Hey, good evening to you, Marina. Take a look here. Governor Glenn Youngkin rolled into Segra Field on a big bus, and his message was very clear. Republicans want to take Virginia back. Right now, all of the state's 40 Senate seats and 100 House seats are up for grabs, so the stakes are high on both sides of the aisle. It's a critical election for Virginia, the GOP hoping to gain full control of state government for the first time in a decade. Hold our house and flip our Senate. Elections have consequences. Meanwhile, Democrats seeking to maintain control of at least one chamber. Don Scott, Virginia's House Democratic leader, feels that momentum is on their side. We believe that the people and their values are with us. Uh, freedom is on the ballot. Both parties battling over multiple issues, including abortion. Here in Virginia, we believe that Roe v. Wade should stay the law, that women should still have bodily autonomy, that we should still trust women as we have done for the last 50 years. And I think the Republicans believe that they should come up with some what they call a consensus. The problem is they didn't talk to women about this consensus. Education, another controversial topic on many minds. We went to work right away putting parents back at the head of the table, folks. Children belong to parents, not to the state. Lord knows, I joke with the governor, I don't feel like I'm the attorney general of Virginia. I feel like I'm the janitor of Virginia for all the messes we clean up. And I know you're staying up late with us tonight, but make sure you set those alarms early and watch Good Day at 9A. Our morning anchor, Steve Chenevy, will interview Governor Glenn Youngkin one-on-one -on -one live from Manassas. And use that hashtag, GoodDayDC, and let us know what questions you want answered.